Serious allegations against Avangrid, the parent company of Central Maine Power, have been filed in civil court. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Tori Wright and in for Cindy Williams. It's all part of a $110 million lawsuit that accuses Avangrid of rigging bids and racketeering. That lawsuit came to light today. The new center main Sam Rogers has been looking into it and he's here to break it down for us. Sam? Well, Pat and Tori, the court documents claim Avangrid and its parent company, Iberdrola, conducted a scheme to make millions of dollars. These companies are involved in national and international projects, but the lawsuit alleges power customers pay the price. The 72-page document was filed by the cybersecurity company Security Limits Incorporated this week. The company CEO says he worked as a subcontractor for Avangrid building data centers. Paulo Silva's lawsuit alleges that Avangrid purchased millions of dollars of hardware equipment but never used it and instead built warehouses in multiple states including Maine and New York to hide this allegedly useless equipment. The lawsuit claims Avangrid and Iberdrola allegedly benefited from this scheme and here's how. Avangrid was able to report those purchases to public utilities commissions. And under law, the company is able to collect between 7 to 15 percent of those costs as profit. And then Avangrid could use those expense reports as a reason to increase rates to where it delivers power. In Maine's case, through central Maine power. In a statement, Avangrid denied the allegations and said, We are aware of the action by security limits, but have not been served. The allegations and claims have no merit, and the company will vigorously defend itself. In fact, the company has previously reviewed unsubstantiated allegations made by security limits and sent a cease and desist letter to it. The company plans to pursue all legal remedies against security limits. Now, Pat and Tori, I've reached out to the Maine Public Utilities Commission about all of this, but haven't heard back yet. All of this information just came out today, so there is no timeline on how this case will proceed yet. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. Sam Rogers, thank you.